So hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I can't believe that after this we only have one episode left and then we're finished this show forever. I remember the trailer for this dropping. Do you remember the first trailer that came out for this? And it was like there was so much confusion and mystery surrounding the whole thing and it was like the excitement of getting another spin-off and now it's just, it's over. There's like two episodes left and that's it. I just, oh my god. I am excited to see what they do and how they're gonna wrap this up and tie it into the Presumably either the main show or the the movies, the alleged movies that we're getting sometime. The also distant and alleged Rick Grimes movies. But yeah, I'm excited to see what they do. Uh, the link to my Patreon is down below where the more extended version of this reaction is going to be along with a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, we'll talk more about that at the end. Let's go because I'm excited. I'm talking a bit fast. I need to slow down. Lads, I'm not even sorry. Every time I see a crossbow, I'm just like, Daryl! And I'm let down every time it isn't him. Man, they really need to up the audio on the mics on the people who are speaking. What kind of fucking switch is that? Team Delta report. Pierce, tell me what is going ah, on. Ah, that's the word there Delta now. sets me off these days. They've dedicated their lives to fighting for a future. And an entire surviving city of living persons. We're done with the CRM. They must have some heightened kind of technology. Their walkie-talkies work perfectly fine. Fear could never! Hey, Janice, it's me. <laughs> Sorry. She's mad mad now. What do you want, Dr. Bennett? Everyone wants you to feel the same way? I didn't get a word of that. Oh, look at that. It shut Mr. up a clock. Mr. Gotta go. <laughs> Service entrance to ensure that Hope Bennett understood the importance of a future. Jadis mm -hmm. has to know more than she's letting on. She has to know that she's in on this. Oh, he's not dead. You're gonna have to hold me down. That shit trailed right down into his jeans. His dingaling's getting a whiskey bath. I'm moving next to the kid next to my intestines is over, so yeah. These two innocent noodles are supposed to be able to hold this grown ass hulk of a man down. <laughs> That's it? Bit of a letdown. I was expecting him to straight up punch one of them in the face and start squirting blood everywhere. <laughs> okay. I'm guessing that's the last time they're ever gonna see each other. Something, someone's, someone's dying before the show ends. Anyway. But this is our last chance at a future, and you blow it. Ignore him. He doesn't know shit about what they've done. Did they not fill him in on everything that's happened? They just kidnapped him and locked him in a room. Why does this remind me of the time Rick and Daryl went on a road trip? Not as cool, of course, but still. We're making a stop first. No, you don't deviate from the plan. That's what. Straying from the plan gets people dead. Thinking about what comes next. Thinking about what show or movie we could cross over into. Those of us who live, of course. I've, I've always wanted to go to the Getty Museum. We could grow our own crops. <laughs> He's like, not in the museum we couldn't. Maybe outside in the courtyard? Yeah, maybe. Grow some turnips or something. I don't know that I would have shut that door. He got locked into this fucking fridge like two episodes ago. And the big Dumbo walked back in and closed the door. What if they get stuck again? Well, don't rush yourself anyway. Take your time. Ooh, that makes him like unkillable, right? Nice. I like that the walker is politely just standing with its head right in the doorway, allowing her to do this. They found the vial. They found the gas. They wouldn't leave without trying to destroy it. Smarty pants. She put that together real quick. You know their protocol. I know shit about any gas. What the hell do you want to say? Stop. He's like, babe, I think some of my rage is rubbing off on you. You need to chill. Hey, I, I, I'm just getting. Uh, don't. I thought we were friends. I can get a fucking word of that. I don't know, is it just he's a class A mumbler? <laughs> or it's just the show doing that thing again. 
I'm sorry, man. I got all this. Go, oh, baby, Elton. He's probably my favourite character. I just love him. He's a splendid little weirdo. I am missing the cord suit, though. You know the weird suit he used to wear? That was his essence. <laughs> Back to it. Let's keep gathering our supplies. He's fucking dead. Nothing you can do for him now. I think I know a way out. <laughs> <laughs> They're hamster balling it. Oh, the CG. It's effective, it's fast, and it's different. Imagine them coming up out of the ground and they just see a whole fucking ball rolling across the earth, mowing down walkers. No, I'm good, thanks. I'm on the mood to talk. That only happens when you let us drive off in this summer. Felix has a very odd habit of talking through the side of their I'm mouth. Sure anything to make me trust you. Because without Mason, there's nothing to stop us from gunning all of you down. You're far too young to appreciate all that has been lost. You murdered a hundred thousand people! They were gonna die anyway! But the Alliance would soon become a drain on the Civic Republic's resources. So you just kill them all? Omaha. Humanity. They could have just left the communities, like, and, you know, you sizzled out into other groups. It was mercy. It wasn't, it's bollocks they mercy. Those who died became an essential part of our study to end reanimation. Criticize the CRM when it is our work that made your very existence possible. We killed, like, four towns of people and then we're using their bodies to run tests on the science. Like, damn, was there not a better way? Who was that? Was that Percy? Percy got shot in the head and her response was No. That's what she deserved. Look at what you've done! Oh <laughs> he's gonna catch some debt. My boyfriend gets shot in the head. <laughs> there ain't no telling what happens next. I'd probably go after Jadis to be fair. Why'd you drop the gun? Percy's really dead. What a shitty send-off he got. He's been a staple in the show. He gets shot in the head and just left in the fucking grass. Man, I know she's a villain, but she's fucking metal. I love her. Look at her out there with that haircut and that outfit. Straight up fucking hitting walkers into the head just like, like it's nothing. Yes, sir. Of course. Thank you for placing your trust in me. Why are we focusing so hard on that little phone call? Who the fuck is that? It's Negan hiding in the bushes in a fucking whisperer mask and a walkie-talkie. I thought we were losing another boyfriend here. Nah, he's okay. I mean, he's far from okay, but hey, he's not dead. Those are the standards these days. Has the mother murdering been forgiven? Yeah, okay, I guess so. Where's everybody? Silas is like, oh no. He's dead. You single? <laughs> I do love their friendship though, I love the little group. Again, it's the found family trope. It's one of my favourite tropes in film and TV, I love it. Alright, we're going for a secretive cry. Wait, did he die? Did Dennis die off screen or something? Still got that C4? Where are you? I found things that look very explosive. I don't know what they are, but I'd stay away from them. Okay, I think that was a really good episode. I do. I think it was very well paced. It had it had the nice balance of like, you know, serious kind of heart to heart moments and then big kind of moments. I'm really bad at talking. Good thing I don't do it for a living or anything. I feel like Percy's death, I stand by that. It was a bit odd. It was a bit strange to just shoot him and leave him dead in the grass. You didn't even see his face. You know what I'm saying? I thought he was just shot in the leg or something and he'd be fine, but no, my man was just dead. Did Dennis die? Because like we saw Hawk holding on to his ring. She had a ring on her necklace, which I'm guessing was his wedding ring, so did he die? Maybe they were like, look, you got one on-camera death, that's it, that's all you get this episode. Dennis, die off camera. I can't believe that the next episode is the last one already. I'm so excited to see what they do. I really, I really am. I, I don't necessarily want to say goodbye because I don't like saying goodbyes, goodbyes to like shows or anything. That I like and I have grown to actually quite enjoy this I have to say it you know it was an odd kind of start 
to get into it. But I think it has its strong points and it has really good storylines interwoven. Um, I think I think it's doing really well. I'm excited to see where it ends. I think it's time for it to end. I think the two season run was long enough because it's like, well, what more can you do without filling it up and making it feel bloated and repeating storylines that you've already seen on other sister shows? So I understand why it was a limited series run and I think that lent itself to the storyline really picking up and progressing so much in season two. So yeah, I'll probably be doing a chat video about what I thought about the show and a full review on the two seasons as a whole once the show finishes but for now that's it for this video you guys thank you so much for watching the link to my patreon is down below where i do a whole bunch of reactions at the moment there's ongoing reactions to shows like teen wolf um the 100 once upon a time i'm finishing up daredevil i'm starting hawkeye soon we're doing the x files american horror story there's a lot so the link is down below and the link to my twitter and my instagram is also down below if you want to say hello that is it for this week's video you guys thank you so much for watching and i will talk to you all soon